What's going on, y'all? Forward Fabian back again with a video. We're doing a reaction to Earthquake Rocks LA, man. This uh, actually broke news about earlier today, actually. Sent about seven hours ago to where it specifically started trending, but a lot of people have covered it since. So uh, a magnitude 4.4 earthquake struck a heavy populated section of LA County on Monday, shaking buildings and leaving residents rattled throughout the region. There were no reports of major damages or injuries, but the shake was felt from San Diego County to Simi Valley. So those living closest to the quake shared videos of a major jolt rattling that elicited uh, a few screams and sent frightened pets scrambling. So we're going to actually do a quick reaction to what I believe to be ABC. And then uh, I want to actually check out a visual of uh, the, the earthquake in real time. You know what I'm saying? So let's get to the video, man. Like the video, comment down below. Check out my trending playlist. I react to everything trending, man. Let's get into it. News at this hour, a powerful earthquake rocking the Los Angeles area. The U.S. Geological Survey reports the epicenter of this 4.4 magnitude quake was just a few miles outside of downtown L.A. near Pasadena. So far, no reports of injuries or major damage, but people across that area saying they could feel the shaking. There's a clip from today's taping of the Travis and Silva sports podcast on ESPN LA that just shows a little bit of what it was like. Well, they did the Chicago with the, with the pickle spear and the peppers yeah. and the tomatoes. Oh, that's, whoa, an that earthquake? Earthquake? that's an earthquake. Oh, wow, that's an earthquake. That is a real whoa, earthquake. Whoa, that whoa. is a real one, guys. All whoa, right. whoa, whoa, whoa. That All is right. real. Hold on. Whoa, whoa. A lot more of that across. From my understanding, for Californians, that's a piece of cake. It's like a walk in the park. The way they experience earthquakes and forest fires, it's another day. You know what I mean? But uh, this is the way they even responded. Whoa, whoa, that's an earthquake, guys. It's like normality to them. You know what I mean? But I've never experienced an earthquake a day in my life. Like I said, you know, down in Texas, we got tornado. If you want to sum it up to natural disasters, right? West Coast, they got them forest fires and earthquakes and all that good stuff. Central part of the nation more than likely we got you know we got our tornadoes our twisters you know what i'm saying get you sign up for an f5 you're gonna have some real problems and towards the east coast they got the hurricane stuff you know um i always wondered essentially why uh what's it called why people never i always wondered on a coast to coast basis wouldn't it make sense that each coast would experience hurricanes but it's only predominantly on the east coast I'm sure there's some science behind that, but it, hurricanes are formed off the coast, so why would it even matter? The LA area, there is this two aerials from our ABC station in what Los Angeles showing water pouring from a burst pipe at the City Hall in Pasadena. There, we want to get right to ABC's Zoreen Shah, who is live outside of our LA bureau. Zoreen, what is the latest? Excuse me, you are inside the bureau. What is the latest on how emergency officials are responding to this? What more do we know about this quake? Yeah, Jay, inside and safe, but emergency officials, including L.A. County Fire and the LAFD, say they are now in earthquake mode. They are checking buildings. They're checking other structures for any major damage. Right now, the good thing is there are no reports of injuries, but let me tell you, it was strong. I mean, there were people inside this newsroom when it happened. There was real panic, and people felt it across the region. Experts say it was a 4.4 magnitude earthquake, the epicenter about 10 miles south in Pasadena. KBC's chopper had a cam over Wilson High School in El Sereno. That school was evacuated as a precaution, and there have been smaller earthquakes in California. That's my thing. I'm trying to understand. The t uh, yeah, we'll let you finish, baby girl. That's the thing. I'm trying to understand the timeline, you know what I mean? Or it's like the drasticness of an earthquake. And they say the largest earthquake ever recorded was a magnitude of 9.5 in May of 1960 in Chile on a fault that is almost a thousand miles long. <laughs> Dang, that's something out of uh, The Day the Earth Stood Still. Or what's that one movie with, uh, is it Mark Wahlberg? War of the, oh, the one with Tom Cruise is War of the Worlds, isn't it? But like one of them end of the, end of the world, end of the earth type of movies where everything just cave in. That's what that literally reminds me of. That's crazy. So 64, there was Alaskan earthquake, 9.2 magnitude. 04, Indian Ocean earthquake, 9.2. Damn, and it's taken even back to 1841 in Kamchatka earthquake. 
off the Russian Far East Peninsula. Wow, wow. So there's been some legendary earthquakes recorded, man. If you actually want to think of, I mean, I don't even know, like, I just know things fall over. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say, I don't even know what that feels like, but if they're saying this 4.4 magnitude earthquake was something, imagine a 9.5. That's like buildings caving in, man. A black hole, a portal to the center of the earth being opened. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is the end. You hear that movie? <laughs> recently, but Caltech says those ones are not to believe connected. It's in California, that school was evacuated as a precaution. And there have been smaller earthquakes in California recently. But Caltech says those ones are not to believe connected, not believed to be connected to this one, Jay. ABC Zorin shot covering that quake for us. Zorin, thank you very much. Now, what are we calling it? Tectonic it shift? We are ID what a plate shift? They call it tectonic plates or whatever, man. Uh, I don't know, something along those lines. But that's crazy to me. I mean, I think, like, uh, I want to say the frequency in which earthquakes have been occurring, especially, you know, on that coast, is only increasing. So a lot of folks, so like I said, say this tectonic shift, you know, plates and all that and we used to be Pangea at a point in time, you know what I mean? And then, like, you know, uh, I don't know, basically saying that continents would shift. Imagine if the continents shift together, you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, we would never live to see that day, you know what I mean? But to imagine that each continent was connected at a point in time, according to, uh, you know, a lot of these historians and things of that sort. That's wild to me. That's crazy to really think about. Because imagine like just one continent. A lot of cultures and just so many different things would be intertwined, man. And uh, I think that would be, uh, that'd be amazing to think about. But, you know, not everybody would, would agree. <laughs> Comment down below, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts. If you out in California, let me know how serious was uh, the earthquake. And honestly, I want to know. What is the largest uh, recorded earthquake in Cali more recently? Let me Google that. California, uh, 7.9. Wow. In 1906, there's a 7.8. In 1872, 7.4. So April 18th, 1906 in San Francisco, Possibly 3,000 killed. 225,000 were displaced. Are you kidding me, man? Wow. So essentially, is the science behind an earthquake they build up in magnitude over, you know, the frequency of the occurrences? Because that's wild. Today you had a 4.4. Tomorrow you got a 9.7. I don't know, man. Comment down below like, y'all's thoughts. Let me know what y'all uh y'all's feedback and you know everybody stay safe out here, man. Prayers out to anybody affected by the earthquake, man. Stay safe. Get under, get under a table. You know what I'm saying? Peace, love, prosperity, God bless. We'll see y'all next time.